Hi, everybody. It's Dave here from Fine Line Joinery. I've been working on a pair of floating nightstands for a client, and I will have a full build video for them coming out soon. A lot of that project was assembled using my Lamello Zeta P2 and both the Tenso and Clamex connectors. I decided that instead of spending too much time talking about the Zeta system in that build video, I would give that discussion a short video of its own. So, here it is. These are the basic connector types that are part of the Zeta P2 system. This is the Tenso, which is a fast, self-clamping, invisible, and toolless fastener. Those springy little fingers work to simply snap the joint together. This is the Clamex. It requires the use of a 4mm hex key to operate its locking cam and needs a visible access hole to operate. It's great if your project needs to be easily disassembled. And this is the Devario. It's a sliding connector and uses the Zeta to cut a slot for one side and a drilling jig for the mating piece. I used these for the first time on the nightstand project, but because it was kind of a unique application, I milled the holes on my CNC and I've never used Lamello's drilling jig. So I'm going to forget about the Devario for now and focus on the Tenso and Clamex here. I actually use both of these a lot. To give you a quick tool comparison, this is the Lamello Biscuit Joiner, which is essentially a fancy slot cutter. And this is the Lamello Zeta P2, which looks pretty similar. But the two most important differences are, one, the shape of its cutter, which you can see is sort of a modified T-shape. And the second is this little trigger mechanism on top. As the cutter reaches its maximum depth, this trigger causes it to quickly oscillate up and down and create a T-slot at the bottom of the cut. I set this up to show that oscillation actually being triggered. Would have been fun with super slow-mo, but I'm only working with 60 frames per second. Did you see it? To wrap up the biscuit comparison, here are the two different slots cut in half and their corresponding fasteners being installed. I'll cut two sets of slots in this sample and install a Tenso in one of them and a Clamex in the other. The Zeta comes with a jig and a 6mm bit for drilling a hole to access the Clamex's locking cam. Okay, what I'm doing next really has nothing to do with the function of the Lamello Zeta or its fasteners. But I thought it might be cool to make a little cutaway window for the Tenso fastener to see better how the self-clamping mechanism works. I think shaper, origin, and plate should make quick work of that. Let's check out the tenso connectors in the slot with the cutaway window. I don't know the exact clamping force of these things, but you don't want to get any skin caught in there when it snaps tight. Don't ask how I know. In this close-up, I'm using a clamp to close the joint as slowly as I can, and you can see exactly when those little spring fingers snap shut. Well, I thought that was pretty cool. Just me? Once the fastener is engaged, there's still a good 16th inch plus of sideways adjustment. But you have to work fast if you've glued the joint. If you're doing a dry fit before a final assembly, 
The tensors will release without any damage to them. Lamello also has these Bisco connectors, which are just fat plastic biscuits that I sometimes use for dry fitting. Another optional accessory for the tensos is these preload clips. They hold the little springy fingers on the tenso farther apart so the two halves will align more easily. And that can really be helpful on more complicated assemblies. I used to worry that the clips might affect the clamping strength of the tensos, but now I can see in this cutaway that once the fastener is engaged, the clip is just sitting there loose. Worry no more, Dave. And now, just because why not, let's take a look at the Clamex through the cutaway window. I love this little cutaway. Still just me? So, I know a lot of people are put off by the price tag on this tool. The buying decision is one that we all grapple with often. Admittedly, anything I can do with this tool, I could still do another way. But the Zeta P2 really does allow me to work more effectively, and I think it's safe to say that it's paid for itself several times over. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Lamello Zeta P2. And if you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe for more, and keep an eye out for the Nightstand Project full build. Thanks for watching.